Look who I find in here. What are you doing? Actually, I'm not even gonna lie. I ate like three the other day when I was volunteering here, so. <laughs> understand what happened last week with the great Ameri uh, make, yeah, make America, America great, great again hat what are you trying to do with the message you're sending well it was really just my subconscious it was a feeling I had you know like people were taught how to think we're taught how to feel we don't know how to think for ourselves we don't know how to feel for ourselves people say feel free but they don't really want us to feel free and uh, I felt a freedom and first of all, just doing something that everybody tells you not to do. I just... Yeah. I mean, yeah, in that... I, I think that kind of, you know... Like, it's kind of messed up that, like, in today's modern world, that just wearing, like, a hat of a political... Like, of a current president, like, is just that controversial, you know? Yeah, like, but it's what the hat represents. It is. everybody else. Like, what the hat represents to him means... Is totally different from what it represents to the racist redneck in the middle of fucking Ohio. He just, he seemingly fucks with Trump because of his personality. No, and he, he said he likes Trump's personality and Bernie's, Bernie's politics, which is a weird mix, but shit. But I mean, I think the point here is just like, he's an artist, like, just doing, like, he, all he has to do is wear a hat, like, mm. and that just throws up that big of a, like, yeah, you can break it down. But it's like, I think yeah. he's like almost like... I think he's forgetting who he is, though. Because <laughs> he's Kanye West. Like, shit that he does... He himself has noted that shit that he does matters. And he's... Like, Kanye West can't fucking... It's, he can't, Kanye West can't fucking wear America, make America great again hat. Because now it puts... It puts his power into that shit. And you see the way the conservatives are eating that shit up. Yeah. He's their mascot. And he's not... I don't think mm -hmm. he realizes that's what he's getting. Like, he's literally become a mascot for saying he fucks with this man. And they don't care why he fucks with him. They, now now that just justifies all the other shit. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's like the same thing with the Candace Owens. Like, I mean, I would say that she's basically like a black mascot for Republicans. Yeah. And I think she knows I mean, I'm it, sure... She, yeah. I, she's the same situation as Tommy Lauren. Is it for real? Like, is that for real? I don't think we'll ever know, but like... That's the same thing with Ankata too. Shit, the Boondogs did an episode where she she was in on it with fucking um, Reverend, the dude that comes to every shit. He's become slim now. He used to be thick. Our Our Shopton, yeah. Oh, there was, yeah. yeah. Ankata had to deal with Our Shopton that they caused controversy. They battled it out and they shared the money. Yeah. So maybe that's that's the shit that's happening now. I don't fucking know. Well, anyway, it's weird. Well, then there's this point. Yeah. Of Trump. That's my boy. Like, uh, you know, it's like so many rappers, you'll look at a video of Snoop Dogg loving Trump, but then he get in the office and now they don't love him. Like, Trump is one of rap's favorite people, no, right? Used, we, used we, to we be. Yeah. This, that before used to he be. was elected president, yeah. people on hip hop, they, it, was, it was an in thing to put Donald Trump yeah. in your rhyme somewhere. Yeah. And by the way, right. I am in hip hop, but I'm not just in hip hop. <laughs> I'm. A black person in a black community but i'm not just that i feel like one thing is people try to minimize me to artists hip-hop uh black community yeah i'm always gonna represent that but i also represent the world when you hear about slate and he's also a very rich man so yeah. <laughs> like Loki, he's, he's of, representing that rich man yeah. perspective well, he's also representing sure. the crazy rich man like yeah. nicholas cage like he's <laughs> nicholas cage has 25 million now but like he used to be worth almost a billion Really? Yeah, he bought sure. castles and fucking octopuses and shit. That's the same shit like Kanye does. Yeah. Last two years, he was 50-something million dollars in debt. How? Like, you literally had some of the biggest albums. Your shoes were flying off the fuck. What the fuck did you spend <sighs> $56 million on in a year? In one year? He knows how to, knows how to burn through some cash. Now he he's, back to, he's back to rich Kanye. But like, damn. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, it's funny that he's making, cause it's like every other rapper, yeah, has been probably like idolized Trump at one point or at mm -hmm. least like, that was know. the thing. 
that was a thing. But nobody else is like it, there hasn't been another rapper that hasn't like drawn yeah. the line when he became president. So at least that I'm aware of. Yeah, because you don't want the dude that. Let's say the dude that you fuck with, you hang out at the at the bar with to run the fucking country. Nah. Yeah. Well, do you remember Larry Wilmar's show? Uh, what was it called? The Black Ink? No, no, that was the segment. Yeah. I, I forget what it was called. Just something. I don't fucking know. Anyway, Larry Wilmar's late night show that came on after the Daily Show. Yeah. Um, that was canceled. Yeah. Um, that was when Trump was running. I remember that's something Larry Wilmar would always say is like. Trump is like the rapper president. Like. Yeah. <laughs> but it was like it was funny back then because it was that's still when people didn't think he would win and like <laughs> But no, like, he fucking did it. But it's just kinda of funny because like that's it was people were acknowledging at the time, but then like from then till now, like all rappers have basically jumped yeah. off ship. Besides Kanye, he's he still fucks with this. Like, so. <laughs> I don't think what rappers wouldn't want themselves to be president. You think Young Thug wants Young Thug to run the country? Hell no. He knows that shit will go to shit. Yeah. But Young Thug can run his own life. Like, you can't you can't expect because someone is popular. Like, that's that's the whole fucked up thing with this popularity contest. You can't make someone popular president just because you're popular. They might be dumb. Like, Trump is dumb. Like, he's smart in certain, certain aspects. Like, because turning a million dollars to... Almost a billion. I don't think he's a billionaire. Almost a billion dollars is still a hard ass feat. Like a lot of people just spend that money. Shit. A lot of trust fund kids do that shit. But I'm not saying he's 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 smart, but he's also not dumb. But he's not smart enough to be president. That's that's my whole point. Let's let's continue this shit. For four hundred years. For four hundred years. That sounds like a choice. <laughs> And that's where he just basically crossed the line for pretty much everybody. But he tries to tries to explain right. it here, and it, yeah, it kind of makes some sense. But but you he already said it. Yeah. Once you say that, you know, like it's like we're we're mentally in prison. I like the word prison because slavery goes di- too too direct to the uh, idea of blacks. <laughs> you realize you like fucked up. Slavery, Holocaust, Holocaust Jews, uh, slavery is blacks. So <laughs> and that just sounded even worse. <laughs> like he did. Yo. Yo. What else could I he have like thrown in there at that point? Like, yeah. This you, people uh, should stop putting him in front of a crowd. He's not made for that. Like, I don't. He's mentally not capable of that. It's too many people. It's the same way people get anxious. He starts to feel like he needs to say shit and doesn't think it out. And he's a person that needs to think. Yeah. And he. So then this is like what another like ten minutes into the interview, he. Wasn't he on a coffee table at this point? Or he got on a coffee I don't think he got on it yet. But... but he started talking to the to the crowd. Dude, do you feel that I'm being free and I'm thinking free? I, I actually I actually don't think you're thinking anything. <laughs> That's I think what you're doing right now is actually the absence of thought. And the reason why I feel like that is because, Kanye, you're entitled to your opinion. You're entitled to believe whatever you and want. And this part is just so There's real. Like, I mean... In real world, real life consequence behind everything... I actually think this part though, like this, is pretty fucking important. Like, this could honestly like move the country forward in some like race relations discussions because it's like, I don't know, two dudes just coming from pretty different perspectives and they they talk it out. I mean, they make some progress. I think. I I think it's just gonna. (laughs) I I think it's gonna bring some change, but it's gonna be from. It's gonna be between liberals and black people and moderate. Like conservatives, not 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 between the real Trump Trump people. Yeah, well, yeah, because most of them are just saying this is like, fuck. hey, a black. Yeah, basically, yeah. what we're saying is like, see, Kanye While is kind of a mascot. Or making music and like the original OG political people, like the conservatives, not the Trumpers. The rest of us in society have to deal with these threats to our lives. We have to deal with the marginalization that has come from the 400 years of slavery that you said for our people was a choice, frankly. But he's, guy is like seriously listening. Man. Yeah, he like, listens to, that's his thing. He listens to shit, yeah. but he listens to a lot of shit and he says all the shit that he listens to. Yeah. He's like a toddler, and man. I'm appalled and brother, I am unbelievably hurt by the fact that you have morphed into something to me that's not real. <laughs> bro, now Kanye you wants a hug. Man. Bro, I'm sorry you I gotta, hurt you. You gotta be responsible. Bro. I'm sorry I hurt nah, you, man. bro. Your voice is too big. You got. 
apparently they talked after and again i've said the word charlamagne like 200 times but he he gave kanye his number and they had a conversation even according to the brilliant idiots and shit and apparently kanye explained the mental slavery shit that he was trying to get across but van van said he understood that but he still thinks a lot of the points are dumb as fuck which is the correct answer because a lot of the points are dumb as fuck like he started talking about liposuction which i i haven't watched it i'm not gonna watch it because i don't need he's, he's like the, we we made him go like the people have made him media have made him go train the fat for him because he was getting fat people don't give a fuck like we've seen fat Kanye, we've seen skinny Kanye. This, yeah. Because fat Kanye was like two months ago. It wasn't <laughs> even that long ago. Like people are now getting used. To, actually, we haven't thought about his weight yet because he was saying wild shit. Yeah. Nah. Um. But yeah, about the. I mean, so basically, he he clarified to Charlemagne and yeah. said that it's more what he was describing is um, basically people. In modern times, uh, re- like talking about slavery and like that being like it's holding people back. Yeah, yeah. Which is like basically, I guess, a conservative thing. Like what we were talking yeah. about last week is yeah. like that's basically like what but Republicans the, those, say about those the counter argument to it that even though yes, it is, it might be holding people back. You still got to know those things so you can approach this world because there's still factors of that racism and shit still there it's not like it's completely gone so yeah. you still got to figure out how you analyze the shit yeah and you still you got to figure out how you walk in this world like if if there's a cop there are you gonna cross the, cross the street or walk past them and let them see you're not doing anything kind of shit like you can try and ignore it but you still like is every black person has to keep that shit in the back of their mind and that's why he was irresponsible if Kanye hadn't gone on tmz he would have been a little bit more loved right now because he the interview that he did with again Charlemagne the God the two hour interview was actually pretty fucking good because he he Charlemagne never rushed him he would he would give Kanye because I think Charlemagne understands how Kanye thinks so he would give him time before he asked the question to figure out like collect his mind mm-hmm. and after the question to collect his mind and then after he answers you sit on whatever he says. So every question took like 10 minutes, even if it was just a 30 second answer, just so Kanye could fucking think before he said shit. And some of the shit that he says were actually pretty dope. He was, he talked about 2016 and admitted that it was a mental breakdown, which fucking duh, because he was wild. Like, he was insulting Jay-Z on the stage and the next day, and insulting Kid Cudi, he was insulting all his best friends, like trying to fight them and shit. But he said he, he did have a breakdown, especially because of the wife shit. And he was he was basically stressing. But he's on medication now. But he doesn't want to take ther- do therapy, which he might probably need. Cause the medi- yeah. his medication seems to be working. But like, he still needs help. But yeah. But, well, so I think, and this is kind of split all Kanye fans. Like yeah, like um, <laughs> so I just you know, Facebook and Twitter friends of mine. I've been seeing people just go both ways. Like people are just saying they're officially done with Kanye. Like. Nobody's, nobody's ever done with Kanye. It's pretty hard. Just the end of the line. Um, but then other people are saying, you know, shit, man, like, I don't know, like, still a fan or, you know, can still respect him. I don't know. So, uh, yeah, I think he's, he's, I, I think he'll be fine. Yeah, I, I don't think any, gonna, yeah, because like, it's he's, like. He's literally got more followers now. After he lost those 8 million, I bet you, like, half of those people followed back. Cause he's at 29 now from 28 and he lost 10 and then got to like he nothing really changed like two days he was back to normal but anyway he, he said why he loves um, donald trump and he was basically saying that he feels like trump showed that anything is possible by winning and that person like him which is a person like kanye yeah can, he's can, an outsider yeah. who came in and shook things up and so he's just got respect for that he also said Trump being racist isn't a deal breaker. So he acknowledged that Trump is racist. He just says that he, that he doesn't care about racism. He, no, he doesn't care. He said racism isn't a deal breaker for him. That's his words. Well, it's, yeah, doesn't he say something that, yeah, like, because 
we live in America. Yeah, and that's yeah. just kind of like... <laughs> if, if that was the case, I wouldn't live in America. Yeah. And this, he said even in his gated community, he deals with racism. So he's taking a different approach than Lil Wayne, who just straight up said, nobody's racist to me, which is true. But... And he said he didn't. He said he would have met with Trump anyway, even if he was ha- if he wasn't having the breakdown, which, okay. And yeah. he, he said he said he's not mad at Barack. He just wants him to apologize for calling him an asshole. That's literally the <laughs> only jackass, thing. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. literally the, that's some Trump shit to do. Cause yeah. you know Trump only run because Seth Meyers called him like dissed him at the White House for <laughs> yeah. dinner. Like Kanye is only mad at Barack because Barack said some shit about him. Like, hold grudges for some weird ass fucking like, get over your fucking Kanye West. Yeah, and I mean, Barack Obama like, he's never said anything that like he always said everything he had to say. You know, like, yeah. I'm sure he is fine with Kanye, but I doubt he's gonna apologize though. Yeah, <laughs> maybe he will, but not like officially. But. Apparently, he started using Bitcoin because of the Harriet Tubman $20 bill. Oh, yeah. He was like, he doesn't want to be reminded of slavery, so I'm not going to use money at all. (laughs) Yeah. Huh? Yeah. So, I mean, it seems like his whole perspective on just like. It's more energy based. It's just like, let's move past the his or like the history of black people in this country and like focus on now. And like, now he's a successful musician entrepreneur and so yeah. like i don't know he's just over it i guess but also kind of not ah it's weird he i don't yeah. he's just not the dude that was meant to <laughs> to say shit yeah and he's just in the very yeah. front which is why it's a good it's so. a good thing he's a rapper because he can write shit down and yeah. go over it before he raps this shit but like nah he's not he's not yeah he's not in the moment guy at all nah you should, people should not put him in front of large groups of people because you know he's gonna wild out like like historically speaking every time he's in front of a group from the bush shit to the beyonce shit the taylor swift shit i mean like he always wilds out like even ellen like at first you start off okay and then start to spaz the more when people clap once that's it yeah he's done and you give him that you feel him. His brain fucking explodes and it just splatters all the shit all over everybody. Sorry for that visual. <laughs> um, but no, I wonder if this has got anybody, any Kanye fans ta- who's hated Trump taking a second look. <laughs> no, no. If, if they stay, they stay for Kanye, not for Trump. <laughs> He's definitely gonna get a bunch more poser Trump supporters that are gonna buy his shit and not even listen to it. So, yeah. Well, I'm tired of and talking. He's probably about gonna it. inspire a lot more um, stock photo black guy Twitter yeah. accounts. So. Yeah. <laughs> well, that might have been his whole whole cause. Maybe <laughs> that's the whole point of this. Just more fake black Twitter bots. <laughs> well, moving on to some even actually nah, this is not as ridiculous as the Kanye kind of shit. Somebody leaked Mueller's interviews, interview questions for Trump. And apparently it was the Trump campaign, but they don't know who did it. Well, the Trump campaign was first trying to say it was the Mueller. Mueller, somebody. No, why Mueller's the fuck office, would they do right? that? They're too nah. I doubt he would, because he's just been handling this thing, whole thing professionally. Yeah. And shit. So he's sly he shit. Throw a leak out, it, but, yeah. but the he, White House, that's just a, that's just the constant drip, drip, yeah. drip. Allegedly. No, well, no, Trump says it himself. He calls out everyone. Yeah. He says <laughs> there's no leak, leak, but there's a leak. Yeah. Yeah. There's Which, no leak, but there's a leaker. Yeah. We gotta find a leaker who's not leaking. I don't fucking and know. And it, supposedly it's been like everybody, right? Like yeah. Comey was a leaker. Rince Priebus was a leaker. Like, yeah. who, there was someone else too. Wasn't, um... Sean, no, not, not Sean Spicer. I think Sean Spicer might got accused of being a leaker too at one yeah. point. But no, After. who was the FBI or not FBI? Uh, CIA. Oh, I forget his name. Is that Costa? No, I don't, I don't remember his name, but I know who you're talking about. Yeah, you I, put the I, picture but up. You put the picture up here. Pretty much everybody's been like yeah. on their way out. Like that's one thing Trump will just toss at him because he doesn't know who the leaker is. Because there's so always a leak. There's always a fucking leak. And anyway, people thought it was Giuliani. That was the. 
one of the most <laughs> interesting parts of this story. Because Giuliani too has been actually now nah, let's focus on on the questions first, the actual contents of the question. Yeah, yeah. Um. <clears throat> So it's 49 questions that Mueller wants to ask Trump relating to uh, quite a few things, but the Stormy Daniels payment, uh, the hush money to keep the porn star quiet during the election, um, which, again, we're going to get into more in a second, and then also uh, connections to Russia. And Trump hasn't said... Oh, this is an interesting theory. So... And this is like another one of those, it was like somebody, an unnamed person in the White House staffer said this, that like the idea was to leak it so that people, pundits would like talk about it and talk about why Trump shouldn't, like why it would be a bad idea for him to answer the question. But now, Cause now they, they just... people in the, some of his aides thought that he might actually accept an interview with Mueller. So in order to get him not to... They, he, they knew that they could convince him, but they if TV did, like if Fox News was like, hey, if Hannity said it was, or Fox and Friends yeah. said it was a bad idea, then he wouldn't do it. So, eh, whether that's true or not, a lot of this stuff comes out that, yeah, Trump only listens to the TV, and it's like... Yeah, which is true. It is, it se- is so it true. seems pretty believable. No, like, it seems actually, like a terrible idea, but... They've, they've, those, those videos showing his, like, the showing them say some shit and him tweet it verbatim yeah like that's his thing like that's the only time when he types proper english is when he's just photocopying trump um trump and friends but no fuck some friends yeah but i mean just it just sounds crazy though to be like the only way we know we can convince this man is to like get tv to tell him i don't know it seems it seems like it would be i don't know kind of a risk but uh then again they're probably pretty desperate well the reason why people think it was leaked by giuliani is because it definitely either was leaked by trump's team or trump's legal team trump's like staff white house staff or the legal team and it leans more towards the legal team because they would get these questions Mm -hmm. because trump did ask for them ahead of time so they would get these questions but giuliani went on tv to deny it good morning america well, yeah, and so Giuliani, uh, who was, he was in the administration for like a minute, wasn't he? Uh, or he was no. being, he was being considered yeah, for attorney general. Actually, no. Yeah. Like his name was kind of getting thrown around for attorney it was general. A decoy, Never happened. It was but, a decoy, though. but he was on the Trump campaign. He's the former mayor of New York. Um, like the most hated one. Yeah. He was pretty, pretty strong conservative, I think, pretty much all of his career. But anywho. Trump had to get some new lawyers, uh, so I know he picked Giuliani, is, <laughs> which just seems weird. I know he was an attorney, but like... He's just... And he doing, was, nah, it's his friend, it, that's why. He's doing, <coughs> he's doing his friend, though. He's acting... Nah, it's their But friends. I feel like that makes me want to look back at like all the shit that he did when he was mayor. Like, he was probably doing some like, pulling some strings for Trump back in the day, you know, like... Probably. They, they've been friends for yeah. a minute. Well, this is the beginning of... Giuliani's self-sabotage when he starts to fuck up everything before the Trump campaign more than is already fucked up because it's always a perpetual state of fuck up for fucked up yes sorry I'm giving you a fact now that you don't know it's not campaign money no campaign finance violation so, so they, they funneled it through the law firm funneled through the law firm and the president repaid it just last month, President oh, I didn't know he did. So he was really just focusing on trying to clear the yeah. campaign finance, which is honestly all Trump really cares about. Yeah. Everybody knows that he. But did they're it, gonna but... bring up more more issues by trying to like they creating bigger problems by trying to create the, the other problem. Well, yeah, the thing is, is because they're not sticking with the story. Like yeah. Trump can't just like that's what's caused like, like you can't that's why publicly... he's under investigation. Like I yeah, mean... you can't publicly change a story six times and expect you to be like, yeah, that's right. Yeah, like it's obviously bullshit. But basically, Giuliani went on TV and gave uh, Mueller a bunch of new information because all this shit is now public public information now. He said it. Giuliani thought he was probably clearing something up, but he just made things. He basically has now acknowledged, like he he said it, like it happened. So now we know that Trump did it, and then Trump responded uh, by tweet, 
clarifying, um, but pointing out that now he's saying, uh, what do they call it, the agreement? He said that the, that the money came through um, Trump paying his lawyer retainer every month. So the retainer was 35000 and it, by the time it ends, it'll go up to 250000 to pay off the 130 plus taxes plus interest. Yeah. That's but he's saying he still didn't, it was basically a retainer. He wasn't aware that that's what it was for. Yeah, they're saying he's that He's acknowledging that it happened, but he's also saying it's not uncommon for... Yeah. Famous and wealthy people to have these types of non-disclosure agreements, yeah. <clears throat> which may be true, but you're not just a famous and wealthy person. You're the fucking president of the yeah. United States. You're like the politician of the United States. So that changes it a little bit. And we we're talking about paying hush money to a porn star, which I don't even need to say that. Like, yeah, CNN has said that's probably more times than ever needs to be said like for a lifetime so if you don't know that then you must be living under a rock the u.s president phoned a porn star and paid her to be quiet everyone in the world knows that now like well apparently now (laughs) trump's legal team is in fucking shambles because no he's not gonna let giuliani say anything anymore giuliani came on this week and he's already fucked things up so much like, no, like I, Giuliani is such a mess. Every time he yeah. like goes on TV, like I don't, <laughs> I don't know what Trump was thinking. Honestly, like, I mean, maybe back in the day when he was mayor, he was like a little bit more on point, could mm. like keep his dumbass mouth shut when he needed to. But when he was pulling some shiesty shit for Trump back then, but also side note, Rudy Giuliani is married to Judith Giuliani, so Rudy is married to Judy. Rudy and Judy Giuliani. That's that's all I wanted to say. I looked this up just so I could make that joke. Rudy and Judy. Yeah. Well, fuck it. But let's not even talk about this shit. Let's talk about. Let's go back to talk about the 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 questions. Cause now, the questions show, especially since they leaked. Now we know what Mueller is focusing on, and Mueller is focusing on Roger Stone and Manafort. So basically, Roger Stone has not been called in by Mueller. But Mueller had a couple questions about Roger Stone's whereabouts and everything. Because if you remember, Roger Stone and Manafort and also Kelly, the general, um, the first dude that got fired, like one of the first, literally the first dude to get fired, he been indicted by Mueller. They both started, they, the three of them started a firm called Black, just Black, which sounds extra creepy, especially if you know the shit that they were doing. Basically, like, <laughs> they were basically like um, I wouldn't say henchmen they were like strategists for oligarchs and politicians and shit to do their dirty shit just and also they laundered a lot of money apparently oh we're talking about Michael Flynn Paul Manafort yeah, Rick all, Gates all those three yeah. that's well yeah and so Roger Stone if people don't know who he is well first of all there's a great uh, ne- documentary on netflix called get me roger stone that's kind of about roger stone's whole history from reagan all the way up till trump and like what he did in the trump campaign which he was pretty active and basically roger stone is the one that like created reagan's whole campaign let's make america great again and basically just rebranded it for trump and just it took our still just fucking worked um yeah, what are you, what are you yeah but then he he bounced like right towards the end and it was a mysterious thing like but then he was still appearing on uh news to shows to like point. yeah to basically like kind of yeah and backing up trump on stuff but then people are like well aren't you off of his campaign and he'd be like yeah i am i have nothing to do with trump but like he did that for he did that to protect himself but he's you know he still hasn't been indicted well no it says now that he's he's probably leading the probe so which actually kind of makes sense because if you watch this documentary you realize that roger stone like he just doesn't really seem to give a shit about anything i mean money that's for sure like and he from the reagan like he was the one like he talks about this in depth like how he worked to get politicians elected and then he was also a lobbyist with these guys uh paul manafort black yeah just black (laughs) And they took money from foreign governments and, like, all sorts of just 
and evil they, dictators yeah, they, and like and they didn't they didn't they didn't like tell anybody about it which is illegal because you're supposed to, especially if you're part of a campaign you're supposed to disclose all that shit yeah which, and so this is just this is the, like their mo this is what they've been doing since the 70s and like yeah. they got really fucking good at it but anyway well trump is like <laughs> it seems like like we, we are supposed to know this we are supposed to know any other shit but since since trump's team leaked the questions we basically have an insight into what Mueller wants Trump to know that he knows. So we really still don't know anything. We just know what Mueller was okay with letting Trump know that he knows. Because Trump's lawyers would have obviously figured out the connection. So that means he's got a lot if he's ready to let that information go. So, because Mueller's 10 steps ahead. Like, we're we're at maybe step 4. And he's at step maybe 15 or some shit already. Yeah. We'll find out about it next year. But shit. It's like he's he's recording the TV show ahead of time, and then we're now seeing the season shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but yeah, I mean that's what I'm just trying to say. My impression is that Roger Stone really is just all like he's just looking out for himself. So yeah. if he brought down like the whole Trump campaign, like he wouldn't care. I don't think at all. Yeah. As long as like he but got off, it's, it's, and he you know could maybe like but sell his story. It's and weird though because <laughs> he literally isn't indict hasn't been indicted. But well, Paul Manafort, his, his partner is, and Paul Manafort is fucked. Like, he's going to jail for a long time. So what what kind of deal does does he have? Because you know he's smart enough to think of something. Well, that's what I'm life. saying. That's why I think he probably just sold everyone out. Like, yeah. he doesn't give a shit. Like, I wouldn't... And that's why it says he's leading the probe. Like, I wouldn't doubt it. I bet he's like... Some, nothing is probably going to happen to him. He's probably going to get away with it and then... And then he, get, like, the next... Kanye. Yeah, he's going to get Kanye elected in 2020. Kanye should never be president. That would be <laughs> the wildest, most erratic shit ever. He'd be like, yo, I'm all about love. But he'll go bomb fucking Iran. I just can't even imagine, but... but at least you know Kanye won't be all about to. oil, though. He'd be more about getting leather for his shoes and shit. <laughs> yeah. Well, you can get that from Ohio. He's cool. Yeah. Yeah, or... Kansas or whatever. Yeah. What, 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 what did I say he's The Jesus saying? economy. Um, Delaware. No, what's the, the state that he's always chilling in? I told you about it this morning. Wyoming. Yeah, Wyoming. I even forgot the name. That's how it's significant the place is. All right, well, thanks for tuning in. Catch you next week. Mm-hmm.